personal. Um, I'm going to talk about product development. Now, last night we were in a chat and we're talking about notes. I don't write down word for word. I like to talk as I go, ask questions. So for product or personal development, I want you all to right now take a moment and think about your roles. So we all have roles, right? Okay, so write a few of your roles down. This could be a role as being a wife a role as a business owner. We all should have that written down, right? Okay. You might be a mom. You might be a mentor or a leader. Um, so take these into consideration when you're doing your personal development. I want to ask you ladies, who here does not have a personal yet or no recruits? Okay, so a few of you. Um, a lot of times people, so one of the big roles is a leader, right? We're all here, we have to grow our team, we have to be a leader, and sometimes we're afraid. So, personal development, what does that mean? It means you're trying to improve, you're trying to develop or enhance your roles that you just wrote down, okay? Um, and the big thing I like to talk about is we have all this information at our fingertips. You can do research. I personally recommend going onto YouTube, say you want to recruit. Type in how to recruit. Um, say you want to hit pink status. Type in how do I hit pink status. And you know what you're going to find on YouTube? You're going to find top leaders. Write these names down. You're going to find Amber Voigt. You're going to find Brie Richardson. You're going to find Sherry Brown, Nicole Smith, Whitney Husband. And you want to know where I found these? You go to your back office, and I'll talk about this later. That's something else. And you click the join button. Um, scroll down and it talks about when you hit black status, you get the car bonus. When you click on that, it will bring up all the black statuses who have the car bonus. So what I like to personally do for myself, I look at leaders, I look at who I want to follow. Of course, any black status. We want to know what they're doing. We want to pick the brains. Um, we did that at Unified. We met some from the UK. We picked the brains. Um, beautiful accent. Um, so pick their brains or look at anyone in this room that you've seen on Facebook and you consider them as a leader, follow them, friend them, watch what they do, duplicate what they do. I'll get into videos, that's something else that we'll talk about. But don't be afraid, you have to go out of your comfort zone. You have to do your research. If you're not hungry and willing to do some of the research, then you might not want it or see the success um, as much as the people who join they get on YouTube, they say, how am I gonna do this? What do I need to do get, to get there? And like Jen said, use your sponsor. Ask questions, we're here to help. Um, and you know, reach out to your team members because any of us in here have different thoughts. If I say, what do you think product development means to you? That might mean something different to any of you than what it does to me. Um, the back to the leader part for people who have not had recruits. I personally experienced where a girl on my team has like two recruits and she's afraid. She's afraid to be a leader. So anyone afraid to be a leader? You're nervous about mentoring, giving them the right advice. The thing is, look at all of us. We are here to help. So you get them to join. And if you're not ready to be a leader yet, someone above you is. Um, so don't be afraid, get them under your wing and eventually you're gonna do your product of um, personal development mm -hmm. and you're going to learn more to be able to be the leader you need to be. Um, which I think Jessica Brown, if most of you know her, she joined as a kidnapper. She didn't post much, now she's taken over. She has developed that leadership and she's been in it two years, okay? She hit, what, purple? Mm -hmm. ago. Last month. But she's really seen, you know what, I need to be a leader if I wanna get any more out of this. Um, so when you take the time, you do your personal development, do your research, um, that's only gonna better you and you need to better yourself so you can help others. And that's what this is all about, helping other people. Um, let me see. Okay, so that's my personal development. Next step. So this all sort of goes together, back office. I like to tell anyone who joins, your back office is like the Bible or holy grail of unique. Amen. Amen. Um, <laughs> So don't be afraid if you're still new or even if you really haven't taken a chance to look at your back office. Go to your back office or it's 
called My Office, but we refer to it as Back Office. It's a little pink My Office at the top of your website. Click that button, go through, click around, play around. I swear, a little over, or wait, just a year, year and a half, a uh, year and a month maybe, every time I go to my back office, I feel like I find something new. It's crazy, like that car thing, I never knew that was there. And I found, oh wow, you get $750 when you get the car, so I swear to you, you will find, if you just click, you're gonna find so much information. Um, Big things in your back office you want to know. Most of you should probably know parties because when you first join, you're scheduling and setting up your first party for yourself. At least that's what most sponsors do, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so set up that party yourself, and that's you do the same for any of your party hostesses. Your orders are going to be in, there, in your back office. So you click My Orders. It gives you all of your orders. Um, of course, trip incentive, supplies are in your back office. My company, once you start to grow a team, my company is going to be your best friend. You will Other check that thing like crazy. Every like, <laughs> second when it comes to the end of the month. Um, it's, it's a like, huge addiction and a problem. The <laughs> <laughs> family like, gets involved and starts checking your back. Yes. <laughs> well, especially you. Um, but my husband knows Denise's name. My husband knows everyone's name on because I'm always talking about it. And they're there for support. They know who you are. They know, he asked me, how far is so-and-so away from their goal? So you have to talk about it. You have to you know, be checking it. It's just something you do. Um, I don't know any of the new ladies who were in their, what, first three months? Is that what you asked earlier? Yeah. I have experienced some of their girls that are just joining, not quite receiving what we call weekly courses. Did any of you receive the weekly courses emails? Okay, because when I joined, I received them. Mm -hmm. And I know a few ladies have not, so that's what I want to bring to your attention. There is something in your back office called weekly courses. You go by week one, it talks about your kit. Week two, it talks about, I don't know, setting up parties. Week three, it talks about how to become a leader and expand yourself and add recruits. So if you haven't looked at that, and I personally, I look at it every now and then to make sure I'm still doing those things as need be. So, like I said, it is like a Bible. Like, everything you need to know is on there. And if it's not on there, that's where I like to be resourceful. So, if you're interested in finding more, do the research first. If you can't find it or you need it fast, if you're like at a vendor show or you have someone asking you a question and you can't look it up, then go to your sponsor or someone else on your team. It can even be a downline or someone, someone else you know. So, back office, my office, does anyone have questions on what's in there? On Has the anybody office? not gone, be honest, we're not going to sh yeah. shame you. Has anybody not looked at their back office yet? Because I think it's easy to miss, like, yeah. briefly. So you want to get to know it. I mean, don't be, I have a lot of girls, I actually set up a personal training for our team to go over the back office. Like, it's just, it's, a lot of people are afraid they'll mess something up. Just go in there, click around. I'm telling you, I that's where I found those leaders that I follow on YouTube. If they got that car bonus, they're worth following. I, I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> Right. Amanda, can I add one thing to yeah. your um, following the leaders thing? Yeah. So I, I did this at the beginning too, but not that. I didn't find that. That's something new to me. Yeah, but you probably don't even know. I mean, no. That's just something I stumbled on. But there's also like top, um, what is it called? When you go to my office and then it says like top achievers or something. Yeah. And it lists like the top 10 um, team and the top 10 PRS. What I used to do is I literally used to stalk the top three mm -hmm. every month. And I would Facebook friend them and be like, what are you doing? How? Yeah. And they would tell me, and I would try, and some things work, some didn't. But and yeah. Not being resourceful. You Don't have, be afraid. Yeah, you have the drive and the hunger to want to know more, and that's when you're going to be successful. Ask questions. That's what this is all about. And I guarantee you, if you follow or send a friend request to any of them, they're going to accept it or send them a message, and I guarantee you they will get back to you. <coughs> a lot of people want to know what the secret is. The secret is no secret. If you listen to your upline, you listen to the leaders, and you duplicate, and when I say duplicate, don't copy their picture and post it. Do your own picture of that same exact thing and make it your own. And that's when you're going to see success. There's no secret. You just duplicate what they've done. Mm -hmm. um, last thing for this section that I'm talking about is product knowledge. Um, so you know at the last training, training, Jess Brown actually went over different products and ingredients or you know what they're good for. 
I'm not going over that. I'm gonna tell you where to find this information if you don't know. Um, so once again, your website is the holy grail, not even just your back office, but your website. Think about if you send a customer to your website and they have never used it, where are they going? You wanna know that. You wanna know where to send them to go. Um, <coughs> Recently, and I think this was the launch of the last new products, I personally noticed under the product when you go to shop and say you click on the body browser, there is a download the fact sheet. Mm -hmm. you know that? Okay. Love it. So you click on that, that takes you to the product that you are looking for and it tells you really how to apply, what are the ingredients, anything you need to know. So um, that is a good place to find some information. Also, under the download the fact sheet, there is a visit the story page. I don't think it's for every product, um, but I was doing research on this last night and I'm trying to remember what it was I clicked on. Some of them have a video for the actual product. Mm -hmm. So you can tell your customer to go to that video. You could copy that link and send to them if they have a question on that product. Also, a lot of times people do not know in the groups. So in confidence doctors and mascara mamas, um, Often I think you have to be on a desktop. You might be able to get it from your phone or an iPad. There are, are these little things, it's like three little dots, I think, and you click on it and it says files. So some of the groups have files for fact sheets. Some of them have order forms, product knowledge. Um, Amber Voigt has a recruiting script in hers. So they're, they're not secrets. Everyone puts these in their group and it's all there at your fingertips. You just have to be res resourceful. Um, let's see. Under the actual product on the website, if you keep scrolling down, it tells you details, directions, and it lists the ingredients as well. Um, I think a lot of times the big question is the SPF. No, there is no SPF in any of our products currently. So just for you all to know, I know that's a big question. You're gonna say no. Um, what other questions do a lot of people ask? I know the SPF is one I wanted to touch base on. I think um, another thing is like, the gluten-free, vegan-free, gluten there was a chart, it. yep. Um, and there is actually Michelle Bell's yes. Image Library. Yes. Go find that group mm -hmm. or ask one of us oh, to add it to. Yeah, Bell. Great for pictures. Michelle Bell. But I want to bring this up too. Yesterday on the first of the month, um, I have my own group for my team and I like to post the kudos every month for them to be right at their fingertips. And I specifically wrote, make sure you edit this photo before you post it. Then in the comments I wrote, please be sure to edit because there were still people who did not see it or whatever. When you are posting that same photo, that's what's causing Facebook jail, okay? So slap your website on there. Um, put a border. Put a border or a background. Put your picture like, on it. Smiley face, whatever, make it a little bit your own and that will prevent you from going to Facebook jail. I know we're in a hurry and we're like, oh, kudos, let's just post it. Edit it first because we don't want to go into Facebook jail. Um, that brings me back to the point, I, I sometimes jump around, but um, when I first joined, so since I came up on my year last month, I looked at my Facebook in the timeline, and you know how they pop up like a year ago this happened. I noticed that right when I joined, so this is why you have to be resourceful. Right when I joined, I created not only my VIP group, I created a business page, and I created a group for my team. I had like two members for a team. So when people are telling you leaders, say create a VIP group, create um, a, a business page, and create a, a group for your team, even if it's just one member, you need it. Because I guarantee you half of the girls in my downline, they are maybe not looking at Mascara Mamas. So they might look at my stuff more than Mascara Mamas, or maybe they're gonna look at their leader, their um, sponsor's group page. So it doesn't matter if you have one person, two people, a hundred, create your own group for your team so you can post the stuff for them to refer to. Um, the last thing about product knowledge, we all know the liquid foundation and we're positive. It's gonna come back soon, we know it is. But um, I will personally tell you, I couldn't wear it in the winter. I learned, I didn't know this at the last year training, it's a liquid to powder. So through the day, it releases the powder. It's not made for dry skin, it flakes. No one wants that. Who wants to give their customer something that's going to flake? So if someone comes to you and asks you about any product, but specifically the liquid foundation, you first say, what kind of skin type do you have? Okay? 
Um, and that's going, you want to learn a little bit more about your customer, what they're looking for, what needs do they have. Um, if they have oily skin, liquid foundation. If they have dry skin, BB Flawless Cream or Cream Foundation. Okay, so that's, I had to use the BB Flawless. When I joined, we did not have the liquid, so the liquid didn't mean anything to me because I knew we have other great products. And you know what? We all have excuses. I have them. I had them before I joined. Um, and the biggest excuse that we all hear, all of us, I know we do, is you know what? I can't sell a thing because of the liquid foundation. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, you're wrong. <laughs> Um, and I think, I think that's it. 